to every star's life my name is chris thank you so much for joining me in today's episode i'm going to go over why august was actually my best month ever so on august 10th something changed with me on the channel in my ebay store everything that i do changed so i shifted from just doing things that i want to do which has been pretty much my whole life just do whatever i want whenever i want with whoever i want but i'm, I'm changing i'm no longer like that now i'm going to be delivering and focusing more on, on being a servant leader. I'm just gonna think about what do people who wanna watch this channel want me to make? What do people who shop in my eBay store want to buy? So I'm looking aggressively at my listings. If the click-through rate is not high enough, that's the percentage of people who click into your listing. That means the title, the thumbnail, and the item are not good enough, okay? Because people don't care. They're not clicking on it because they wanna buy it. Next, if the sell-through rate is not good enough, that means people are clicking into it, but they're not buying it. So that means I've clickbaited them either on YouTube or I've clickbaited them on eBay or Amazon or Poshmark or Mercari. They click into it thinking it's what they want and then they don't convert. That means I've done something wrong with the description, something wrong with the item specifics. Maybe I'm priced incorrectly. That would be the reason why they don't convert. I'm starting to think, okay, I am now a servant. I'm just serving people who want to buy shoes in my store and I'm serving people on YouTube by helping them make extra money on the side. That's the whole point of this channel is to show people that trying to make $100 a week is the same thing as trying to make $100,000 a week. All you can do is make a little bit more than you did the week before. No one skips any levels. If you do skip a level, don't worry. The world will just correct itself and you'll fall back to where you're supposed to be. That's been the experience for me. You just have to slowly grow over time and make sure you understand that experience level doesn't really matter in this game that much. You can be doing this for 10 years and actually be worse off than you just started if you haven't improved over time. Now, if you've been able to leverage that experience into different areas, so now you're a little bit more efficient when you do things, now when you're purchasing stuff, you make less bad buys, all these little adjustments over time actually will help you get to the next All right, guys, level. I'm on the traffic tab in the performance section of my eBay store, and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by click-through rate and sales conversion rate. So here are two replenishable items that I'm starting to sell. I'm ordering wholesale. So you can see here, quantity available nine and four on the left side. I'm testing it. I always put quantity of nine, even though I have more, because it'll say limited quantity remaining. So my click-through rate, I'd like to be 1%, and my sales conversion rate, I'd like to be 2%. So everything that's not that, I'm gonna be aggressively cutting out of my store. I just want the right type of customers coming in and converting. If my items are too slow, the click-through rate is too little, that means I'm doing something wrong on the type of item and the way I've priced it and the way I photographed it. If the sales conversion rate is wrong, it's too low, that means people aren't buying it when they click on it. So I'm gonna be spending almost my entire existence on eBay in this tab, aggressively monitoring this so I can make sure the right items are going into As my well. store. If you guys have read the book, The E-Myth Revisited, it's actually in my book list, which is bit.ly slash reseller books. That's the best book on entrepreneurship that there is. If you have, if you can only read, have time to read one book, it would be that book, because it talks about the fact that we have to balance being the owner and the person working in the store. Now, it's really important to understand this one point. So please pause the video and write this down, which is only 4% of businesses can the, is there an actual owner that's not the operator? It's very rare for someone to actually own a business that operates without them, but that's actually what I want. What I want is an eBay store where there's a manager and there's a lister and there's a buyer and there's a shipper. I don't actually want to be in the eBay store unless I want to. I don't want my income to stop if I take a break. I'm very clear on what I'm looking for. So here, I've decided that if I can't afford to pay somebody $20 an hour, they're gonna continuously churn, and I don't want that. I want someone to come in here and work forever. $20 an hour is really the lowest amount somebody will actually stay, in my opinion, in the Bay Area for a job. It can't be lower than that because it's too expensive to live here. Now, depending if you're in a different state, maybe that's not the case, but here, especially now with the climate where it is, people are looking for stability, and eBay stores, in my opinion, are very stable. All you need to do is control one thing. You need a good buyer. A person that can buy and put great quality stuff into the store will keep it running. That's the main issue with most people's stores. The stuff in your store has a really bad click-through rate, has a really bad conversion rate that makes everything not work. You have to have stuff in your store that actually sells. Sales solves most problems. That's like what Mark Cuban always says on Shark Tank. You can have a really high amount of sales and it will solve a lot of problems. 
So that's what you want to focus on. The right stuff into your store. The rest of it is actually not too difficult. A manager is just a person that's going through the promotions, making sure the store is priced correctly, that you're running the right types of sales, and that you're aggressively getting rid of aged inventory. Okay, this is why resellers exist in most cases, in my opinion, because there's so much cheap clearance stuff that people can just jump into this game and start making money. The problem is when you're trying to scale, you need to develop real relationships. You're gonna run out of time if you have to keep looking for clearance deals. And I've noticed that. I've been going to 10 garage sales every single Saturday just to see how realistic is it to just go to garage sales and thrift stores and get that kind of inventory and make a full-time living. My wife and I have been documenting this. It's probably around one to $2,000 per week profit is what you can make if you just do that. But you can't really make more than that. And if you decide not to go out that weekend, you don't make anything. So for me, that's not what I'm looking for. What I want you guys to think about is, do you own a resale company? Do you own a company that liquidates goods? People can put stuff into your store and it comes out the other end, sold to another customer. So as you are a liquidation company or a resale company or a retail company, and you decide you wanna sell brand new goods, you still need to have items that have a high click-through rate and a high sell-through rate. It doesn't work, you can't just put anything into your store. I am getting so many messages about like, hey, Chris, I'm doing what you say. I list every day. I don't say that. You do not need to list every day to make to make money on eBay. Somebody, that's a different channel, okay? On this channel, we're talking about listing the correct items over and over again. There's no way you could list discount gold and not sell out every day. Literally, if you, if you listed discount gold, it was below the amount that gold trades for, every single day you would sell out of every single item. The problem is you're listing a pile of crap and no one's buying it because nobody wants a pile of crap. No matter how much crap you list, you will not make enough money because that's not how this works. You gotta slowly replace the crap with gold. And no one said it was gonna be easy. This channel doesn't say it's easy. No one that I know that does this says it's easy. It's a grind, it's a marathon, it's an ultra marathon. It's a lifestyle, it's a mindset. This is not easy. You're not gonna get it done in, in one day or one week or one year. It's gonna take some time, but trust me, it's really cool understanding the market value of every single item. This is why there are so many items that you should pass on even if they are free. 1-800-GOT-JUNK is a perfect example of this. They're not a reseller. They get Even if all their inventory was free, they would go out of business. Free inventory, they still go out of business. So how do they stay in business? They charge people to pick up their garbage. So resale is a really, really small part of 1-800-GOT-JUNK's business model because it costs a lot of time and energy to actually flip goods that are not good. So keep this in mind. When you're thinking about picking up a cheap item or a free item, your time is worth $50, $100 an hour. To pick up that item, you're losing money if you list it and it never sells. Just think about that. Be very, very selective in what you buy. For most people running an eBay store, you need a small, expensive store of high click-through rate items with the high sell-through rate items and you wanna have a store that's basically empty. You don't want a ton of items in your store. In order to run a larger store with more employees and more staff, you can afford a little bit of a lower click-through rate and a little bit lower of a sell-through rate, but not much. You still need to pick up the right stuff, but you'll run out of cash flow and your business will be done. Guys, like always, my channel is sponsored by my reseller field guide. It's 35 bucks with code YouTube in the description below. Make sure you pick up that digital guide. If you wanna pick up the progress planner that will help you track your progress over time, make sure you guys smash the like button. Consider subscribing. What's up guys, like always, my videos are sponsored by my reseller field guide. It's 35 bucks with code YouTube in the description below. It goes over how I earn $1,000 per week or more running a physical online store. It's not drop shipping, it's physical goods that you go out and get an order it's also a business that you could eventually hand off to somebody else but only four percent of people end up doing that most people just own their own job i want to actually be very transparent about that because most people do not have the business chops to put together a system that can operate without them that means you go to sleep in the morning and tomorrow you don't go to work and the business has the same amount of revenue and profit for you that's very difficult but i can show you how to make a thousand dollars a week doing it for a living like it's your job, like it's your nine to five. If you wanna grow to the point where it actually runs without you, it's gonna have to be four or five times larger because you're gonna have to pay for the person to run it for you and that's expensive. It's also hard to find people who are reliable. That's the main difference between a business that makes someone six figures and a business that people just barely get by. 
is having a reliable people who, who is having reliable people in your store. And when you're small, that reliable person is you. So if you're not making a full-time living in the beginning of your company, that's because you're the problem. So in the beginning, you gotta hustle, you gotta make it work. It's a bit scrappy, it's worth it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make progress daily.